Hi there and welcome to another week of Who Has Sports today as we continue with more Premier League player and managerial movements. Plus, we also bring you the outcome of the incident-laden Canadian Formula One Grand Prix. But we start this Monday's webisode with a correction of a little error I made on Friday's show as I referred to Liverpool's first signing in the offseason as Jordan Henderson as being from Blackburn rather than Sunderland as Ethnics North so rightfully pointed out on our YouTube page. By the way, are you from Bradford or something? My apologies for that as I just probably crossed it with Phil Jones's move to either Liverpool or Manchester United because the deal that was looking to go towards United's favour seemed to have been pulled from under their feet with Liverpool offering a revised bid of £22 million. Blackburn's owners, the Desai family in India with the billions they have from their Venkis poultry conglomerate said to manager Steve Keane just as soon as he arrived in India for a meeting to discuss Jones's future that they will do all they can to keep the 19-year-old defender which includes topping United's £80,000 a week salary and dangling a near future club captaincy as well. However, Rovers chairwoman Anuradha Desai said should they fail to persuade Jones, they will do all they can to elicit the best price from either Liverpool, United, Arsenal, Chelsea or Tottenham, telling Jones, if you go, you go where, the mon- where we can get the best money. And it seems as though if United or Chelsea or any other team who wants his signature will have to match Liverpool's new offer and raise the stakes, probably in the region of 25 million pounds. Hope he lives up to expectations because overpriced players don't seem to deliver once the deal is done. Chelsea has Fernando Torres as an example, while Liverpool's 35 million pounds Andy Carroll is another. While that's being settled, here are some of the other stories that caught our ear. Tottenham are looking to bring in another midfielder, 21-year-old Jack Rodwell from Everton for 25 million pounds. Is Spurs going to introduce a new system, 4-6-0? After all, when all your goals are being scored by midfielders, who needs strikers? Well, relegated West Ham striker, French-born Senegalese international Demba Ba is said to be wanting out of Upton Park with Newcastle showing an interest. Ba has scored seven goals in 12 games for West Ham, but even that was too late from saving them. Elsewhere, newly promoted Queen's Park Rangers is looking for the services of Mexican and out-of-favour Spurs midfielder Giovanni Dos Santos. After having only two starts during his time at the club, he has seen some good loan spells at Ipswich, Galatasaray and more recently, Racing Santander. And with Tottenham's ballooning midfield, Harry Redknapp will have no issues in offloading the 22-year-old. And just before we head off to Formula 1, one outrageous rumour has surfaced and that's about a possible move for Real Madrid's Cristiano Ronaldo. This after reports claim that the Portuguese striker was approached by a third party hoping to lure him to Manchester City. And what was apparently demanded by Ronaldo or his agent was a mammoth £400,000 pay packet, the number 7 shirt, the captaincy and to always be the highest earning player at Eastlands. Now, before you go and say, what was he thinking about? £400,000 a week? Well, Ronaldo did justify it by saying that taxes in Britain are high. And that's true, where luxury tax for high-income earners is about 50%. And that one just seems a little too far-fetched, but you never know. After all, Ronaldo did have a falling out with Jose Mourinho, and there isn't quite like the present if he wants to cash in on him. Time to bring you a Formula 1 update, and what an eventful uh, Canadian Grand Prix it was. Five safety cars and in the torrential ring even caused a two-hour stoppage just after lap 25 of the 70-lap race. Even after eventual victor McLaren's Jensen Button himself made five pit stops as well as an enforced visit to the pits for a drive through penalty for speeding under the safety car. He also had a coming together with teammate Lewis Hamilton who rear-ended him, spraying debris all over the track. Fortunately, Button was able to continue, but not Hamilton. So as Button fought his way from the back, he slowly put pressure on Sebastian Vettel at the front, which led to Mystic that saw the Brit take a dramatic victory, passing Vettel in the last lap. And this is what he had to say about the win. Um, Obviously, I made some unscheduled pit stops with broken parts on my car. Um, But we won't go there. Um, Basically, yeah, it's it's a very special day for me, um, fighting my way through from last to winning the race. Um, Even if I didn't win this race, I would have been very happy because I enjoyed it so much, you know, fighting my way through. And when you get one over on someone with a move, it it, it means a lot. but the car was great today, um, especially in the dry conditions. I love those conditions where you've got a fine grip rather than knowing where it is. Um, and, yeah, you know, amazing victory. Nice one, Jensen. The Red Bulls were second and third with Mark Webber, just pipping Michael Schumacher to the podium. And the rest of the top ten finishes were 
Schumacher was just about four one hundredths of a second behind Weber as the German was followed by Renault's Vitaly Petrov, Ferrari's Felipe Massa, Sauber's Kamui Kabayashi, and with both sister Red Bull cars in the top ten, sandwiching Williams, Rubens Barrichello. Vettel still leads Button by 60 points while Weber is keeping tabs with the McLaren boys. Alonso and Massa look like they are staying where they are for some time in fifth and sixth for Ferrari. Good positions for the Renault boys while Mercedes makes it five out of the 12 teams on the grid all having both its drivers in the top 10. The next race will be in a fortnight in Valencia, Spain. And that's it for today. We will leave, uh, we'll have more for you on tomorrow's show. To then have a great start to your work week. I'm Patrick saying it's bye for now.